Hello and welcome to my video. So this video is just kind of an introduction to the sort of things that I do in the lab and I'll just be giving you a little tour, a little show around the lab where I do my work and yeah so you can see what a chemistry PhD student does on a daily basis. Uh, this video is actually mainly microbiology stuff. Uh, I do actually do chemistry, <laughs> just not really so much in this video. So I hope you all enjoy and see you next time. So one of the most important things whenever you're doing any type of microbiology work is to make sure that you're working in a very clean and sterile environment. This prevents contaminating your bacterial samples. So to do this, uh, we use 70% ethanol typically to decontaminate surfaces and any equipment that we use. So here I am just washing my gloves with 70% ethanol. It's equally important to wipe down the clean bench with the 70% ethanol just to make sure you decontaminate all of the surfaces. So it's just a case of spraying the 70% ethanol, taking some blue paper towel and wiping it all down until it's lovely and clean. I always spray down my equipment or any tools that I'm bringing into the clean bench as well because well, you don't know what's living on them, I guess. So just to make sure that the surfaces are nice and decontaminated so that the things that you bring into the clean bench aren't contaminating the rest of your samples. So another good step to try and ensure you have as sterile an environment as possible is actually to use a UV lamp, uh, which will help to sterilise the surfaces and any of the equipment you brought into the clean hood. So I plated up some of my bacteria and left them overnight to grow in a 28 degree incubator just to make sure they weren't contaminated as only seeing one type of bacteria on each of my plates and they looked fantastic, I was so happy. Uh, so I thought I would just show you because I was very pleased at how they turned out. Well, here are some of my bacterial samples just shaking away and I thought I would wave to them and sometimes I like to speak nicely to them because I heard that bacteria are similar to plants and if you speak to them nicely and you say kind things to them then they will grow as you want them to. <laughs> uh, one can wish. One of the main experiments I've been working on recently is tracking the growth of my bacteria over several days. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm first of all calibrating the instrument using something we call a blank, um, which basically is um, the media that the bacteria grow in um, without the bacteria in it. And then I use that as basically like a background to compare my bacterial samples to. This instrument that I'm using gives you values depending on how cloudy or how transparent your solutions are. So basically in simple terms, if the solution is more cloudy, then it means you've got a higher density of bacterial 
cells in the sample, which means that they've grown more. So here I'm just taking measurements for all of my bacterial strains to see how much they've grown and to see whether they're ready to use yet. Hello, welcome to my channel, I guess. <laughs> um, I wanted to jump on because I was editing the footage and looking through it all um, from today and I realised I didn't give any introduction and I just started everything so abruptly. So just want to say hello, welcome. Um, the reason I've set up this kind of platform is mainly for family and friends to just kind of see what I'm getting up to in the lab um, and yeah, just to kind of show what I'm doing, I guess. And it, it, it's a way to keep me motivated too, um, to keep my work, I think, a bit more, keep it fun and fresh, because there are times when I start to kind of lose my passion for my research. So this is just a way to maybe try and bring some more fun into my research again. And at the same time, hopefully show family and friends um, what I'm up to without trying to explain in a very terrible way as I usually do because I'm very bad at explaining my work to people <laughs> without over complicating it so I thought let's just um, show it in video form uh, so I hope you enjoy this is hopefully the first of many if um, you guys enjoy it and apologies in advance for my terrible videography skills by the way I just realised that I can actually go on my watch and I can see like a preview of, of the video um, so I can actually see if everything's in focus, if I'm actually in the frame and I didn't realise that until now so that would have been helpful to know earlier when you'll see later on when my head is cut off in most of the videos so it's a learning curve okay, I am a scientist not a videographer and you can very much gather that from the video. Anyway enough of my babbling, hope you enjoy and see you in the next one. <laughs> 